Hi, this is Matt from IT Supplies. Today I'm going to be showing you how to load paper in the Canon IPF 8300. The first thing you'll want to do is open the top cover and open the top flap of the printer. This will show you where the spindle's at. You want to take that out, take off the left side first. And as you see on here, right now I have the three inch core adapter on the spindle. I'm going to be printing on a two inch core size roll. In order to get this out, there's two blue flaps on the side here. If you press in on them, you press all the way through, they pop right out. So you do that for this side, as well as the other side. If you flip over the spindle, it's the same sort of setup on this. You'll press these two in, slide this all the way out, and your spindle is ready for a two inch bowl now. Next take the roll, you want to put the, the spindle in first through the right side of the roll. So you want the roll to flap over the top of the spindle. So put that all the way through. And then push it all the way down until it's as far down as it can go. Next take the other side. Stick it right onto the other end of the roll. Make sure again it's all the way down. And then your roll is ready to be placed on the printer. Next, you want to take your roll and have the right side. There's an R on there to indicate the right side. Stick it on the right side of the printer until it locks in. Do the same thing with the left side. Then, with both of these flaps up, you want to start feeding the paper right underneath the printer. Feed it all the way through, and it's going to go underneath and through the front of the printer. It's going to start to come out. And then you'll hear the suction turn on, and it's going to feed the paper through a little bit. Wait for it to start preparing the roll, and that's going to tell you holding paper edge, lift release paper lever. At this point, you want to put this front flap down, lift up this lever, feed the paper through, line it up with the orange line here on both this top line and this bottom line, as close as possible to both. When you have it where you want it, lift down the gray lever and then close the top cover. At this point, it's going to start feeding the paper in. You also need to select your paper type. So on the LCD screen here, it's going to ask you roll paper type. Select the one that's closest to the media you're trying to print on. Loading a cut sheet in the IPF8300 is a very similar process. First thing I actually want to do here though, just press the load button in the upper left. When you do this, it's going to ask you if you want to load roll paper or cut sheet. So select cut sheet. That's going to tell you to open the top cover. Next, it's going to tell you to lift the release lever, which is this gray lever right down here on the right hand side. Stick the, the sheet into the front of the printer. As you can see here through these gaps, there's an orange line that goes all the way across, as well as this orange line that you use for loading roll paper. You want to load the roll so that the edge of the paper is aligned with this orange line, as well as the line here on the right. After you have it lined up, hold the paper, close the release lever, and close the front cover. It's not going to ask you what kind of paper type you want. Go to the menu. Select your paper type, hit OK, and it's going to start to load the paper. This might take a couple tries to do, it's a little more difficult loading cut sheets into this printer. However, with practice you should be able to get it every time. Thanks for watching, like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter for some exclusive deals, as well as subscribe to our YouTube page for more videos like this.